problem is related to the Bayes theorem. So using Bayes theorem, we'll get a solution for this problem. That is, a manufacturer firm produces the steel pipes in three plants. See how many plants are there? Three plants. With the daily production volume of 500,000 and 2,000 units respectively. So according to the past experience, it is known that the fraction of the defective, see here, defective outputs produced by these plants are 0 0.005, 0 0.008 and 0 0.01. See here, there are three plants here. A manufacturer firm produces the steel pipes in three plants with daily production that is 500,000, 2,000 units respectively. According to the past experience, it is known that the fraction of defective outputs produced by these plants are the first plant the first plant produces the defective items are 0 0.005 and by the second plant it is 0 0.008 and by the third plant it is 0 0.01 if a pipe is selected from the day's total production and found to be defective see randomly a pipe is selected and it is found to be defective then find out which plant so which plant the pipe came and the next one what is the property that it comes from the first plant so which plant and second question is from which plant so it's very simple to understand so in order to use Bayes theorem there should be six values that is there are three plants here which produces 500,000 2,000 units and the next one defective units from plant A is plant B and plant C so using these six values we are going to get the solution C let a1 b a1 a2 a3 be the events that the pipe is manufactured in plants 1 2 3 in first plant a1 for second plant a2 and third plant a3 that is probability of a1 is nothing but see here the probability of a 500 second plant 1000 and the third plant is 2000 total product is 3500 so the probability that the event that the pipe is manufactured in the plant 1 is probability of A1 is 500 by 3500 and probability of A2 is 1000 by 3500 and the next one probability that the steel plant produced from the plant 3 is 2000 by 3500. So these are the three values and the next one talking about the defective one. See, according to the past experience, it is known that the fraction of defective outputs produced are by plant 1 is 0 0.005, plant 2 is and plant 3. And that data I am going to write here. Let D be the event that the defective pipe is drawn. The first one from plant A, the defective one is 0 0.005 and from plant 2, the defective one is 0 0.008 and from plant 3, the defective one is 0 0.01. See, first of all, A1 should happen after that A2. The steel rod should be produced from plant A, first thing, and the next one, it should be defective. So, that is D given A. The meaning for this is, first thing, A, A1 the product should be from A1 and it should be defective one. See here. So, probability of uh, manufacturing a steel rod from plant 1 is 1 by 7. This is 2 by 7 and 4 by 7. See, after cancellation. So, this is from 5 table. That is 5 by 7. And the next one here, if you cancel, this is uh, 2 by 7. This is 2 by 7. And the next one here, it is 4 by 7. So after cancelling, so I got all these values. So all our six values are ready here. So now we are applying the Bayes theorem. So what is the question here? So if a pipe is selected from the day's total production and found to be defective, so it is already defective. So from which plant? So it's he it is asked to find out from which plant it is and what is the property that it is from first plant. See, let us start with the first plant. So, first plant is A1, second plant is A2 and third plant is A3. So, it is already defective. The first thing is happened and the defective steel rod is from plant 1, A1. See here, probability of A1 given D is nothing but just reciprocal it. D given A, see D given A1 into what is there in the denominator A1. So, write the same thing, probability of A1 divided by the three things you have to repeat probability of d given a1 into probability of a1 
plus probability of d given a2 into probability of e2 into probability of d given a3 into probability of a3. So, this is according to the Bayes theorem formula. So, all our uh, values are ready here. Probability of d given a1 is nothing but 0.005 and probability of a1 is nothing but 1 by 7. So, this is 0.005 into 1 by 7 and this is 0.008 into this is 2 by 7. 2 by 7 and next 0.01 into this is 4 by 7. So, here, see here, 1 by 7, I took common and cancelled. This is 2 into 0 0.008 is nothing but 0 0.016 and 4 into this one is 0 0.04. After cancelling 1 by 7 in the numerator and the denominator and you can use your calci and uh, you can calculate. That is the probability of a defective bolt from the plant A. A1 is 5 by 61. Similarly, the defective bolt from plant B, from which plant they have asked now? That is the defective bolt from plant 2 is nothing but just reciprocally D given A2 into probability of A2 and this denominator is same for both these, both of, both of the questions. See here, probability of D given A2 is 0 0.08 into 2 by 7. This is 2 by 10, 7 and the denominator is as common as this one. See here, after calculating, the value here is a 16 by 61. So, you can calculate by your own also. See here, the next one, the defective bolt, it should be a defective bolt and it is from plant 3. So, this is A3. So, just reciprocally, D given A3 into probability of A3 by the denominator is common. After substituting all the values, see here all our 6 values is ready. So, if I substitute all the values and cancel 1 by 7 from the numerator and denominator and this is 40 by 61. Therefore, the defective steel rod from plant A1 is 5 by 61 and the defective steel rod from plant A2 is 16 by 61 and the defective and the defective one. So, which one it is? A defective one from plant uh, A3 is 0 0.65 something therefore thus it is the most probable that the defective pipe has been drawn from the output is from the third plant see here so it is assumed that the defective steel rod is chosen from the plant a3 so this is how we have to use Bayes theorem and the problem even though it's very very lengthy please keep on reading for two or three times definitely you will find some numerals and just underline them and just analyze them and definitely you can uh, find it's from Bayes theorem so you have a Bayes theorem formula with you and definitely just it will be very easy if you follow these videos and uh, I'll be uploading many more videos related to these series. Have a look at them and definitely you'll get an idea and this is the most most important topic. Thank you so much. Don't miss it.